What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we're gonna be doing something very interesting. We're gonna go over my top 10 picks for version 2.0, and then you also will be catching me live within a few moments afterwards, probably within the hour, and we're gonna do some deck building, some fun that way, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So let's get into it and join me for the live stream afterwards. So we got my top 10 picks right here. First off, we're gonna talk about Ryugamon. Ryugamon is a very interesting card to me. I like that it's super splashable and it's gonna have great support coming in the future. But the fact that it's basically decode level five, when did evolving you may place, play one level four lower blue, Digimon card from this Digivolution without paying its cost. So it's a blue level four, which means Lycus and stuff like that get played out for free which we want to do. We want to have ways of getting our guys out of our sources because we don't mind once we're on this kind of card. But at the end of your turn, by returning one of your Digimon to the bottom of the deck, return one of your opponent's Digimon with the high, as high or low as level as the return Digimon to the bottom of their deck. So it's a great control tool, especially because it is the end of your turn. So you can easily get rid of aces this way just because of how powerful this skill is. And I love that it's super splashable in the Galaxy deck and we're gonna just use that as our reference point then we do have lord nightmon here lord nightmon ace is another interesting card this card is on my radar because of one deck and one deck alone and that is can you guess it dark nightmon so with dark nightmon now actually having a very useful ace in its armory it becomes actually a very viable strategy because of the fact is Let's be honest, Dark Knightmon has always been that slow deck. It just couldn't keep up with the format because everything it had to do was Digicross play something. Well, I gotta survive this. And then hopefully your opponent just doesn't clear your board with, you know, even though all the pieces kind of just filter and float back, it ends up not ending well, to be honest with you. But now with the fact that you have Lord Knight mon ace being able to play a level five on a blast turn is really useful to be honest with you and then with night mon in its text from your hand or trash without paying its cost so this now be able to bring down your dark night mon being able to d dg evolve a threat is really interesting and all turns all digimon with as much or less dp as this digimon gains collision so it's not a bad trade-off to give your opponent force block and that can lead to being some scary maneuvers so hopefully seeing this coming through in the future we're going to see more and more interaction like this because lord nightmon fixed dark nightmon's issue to be honest with you very comfortably and then we get takuya and koji koji and takuya here both are gr a great tamer that both decks kind of want now so the fact of the matter is it gets to security play this card without paying its cost start of your turn if you have two or less memories set it to three start of your main phase you may place one card with hybrid trait with different names from your trashes of this tamer's bottom digivolution card for each of your other tamers increase the number of cards with this effect placed by two so again you want to get hybrids underneath there and the fact of the matter is it starts building up pretty quickly and then all your effects can compound it's really nasty and end of the turn at this this is your with hybrid or 10 warrior traits may attack a player not a bad trade-off right we gain some major values in this card it's a mem setter like five costs which is not bad and it also has a really solid inheritable so at the end of the day i don't think this card is not anywhere bad i think it's in the right spot where i want to put it at the list then we do have zenith zenith is another tamer that's really good in my opinion start your main phase by trashing one venmon in your hand draw a card gain one memory and then when one of your other digimon attacks by spending this tamer return two venmon from the zg evolution cards to the bottom of the deck the digivolve one of your opponent's digimon so Zenith fixes a little bit of Galactimon's issues, being a very solid momentum piece. By trashing a card, you get to draw and gain a memory to extend your plays, but also being able to win any of your Digimon attacks by spending the Tamer. Getting those two Venomon pieces from a Digivolution card to the bottom of the deck to Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon makes it less likely you're going to be dealing with aces and makes it more value to you, to be honest. Then Dustmon. Dustmon's another great card, to be honest with you. 
and I'm going to be straight here. Duskmon has the ability of on play when he's evolving until the end opponent's turn. Change one of their Digimon or Tamers into a color other than white. This card is really interesting to me. So this now creates a very distinct interaction that a lot of players do not know what to do with. But when attacking, one of your Digimon or Tamers may Digivolve into a level four with hybrid and traits from trash with its Digivolution cost reduced by one. So not a bad way of doing it because now you can set up and do some combos, especially with his Valgrimon's evolution. But it's all really interesting to me to see how this goes. But on deletion, you may play one Tamer card with a play cost four or less from your trash without paying its cost. It all combos very well, and Duskmon is going to be a very much interesting meta contender, even for his main deck. Then we do have Moon Millennium on, guys. If you guys don't know what Moon does, Moon does basically on play when digivolving your opponent trashes cards in their hands, so they have five remaining, and for every two cards trashed by this fact, delete one of their tamers. This card introduces a weird, interesting way of control that a lot of players weren't expecting be able to bring your opponent's hand size down from from like 20 to 5 is ridiculous and then being able to delete their tamers for every two cards trash this way is a very powerful control strat that a lot of players are not really happy for moon millennium could become a very splashable tech in the future we'll have to see but all turns when this digimon would lead the ballet air by deleting one of your digimon with composite composite trait in it it doesn't leave so being able to protect this thing long term is really nice but again if you're splashing in other decks you won't get this effect but all turns when an when another digimon or tamer are deleted trash the top card of your opponent's security stack so being able to you know when this thing in immediately resolves be able to trash a free security is not bad at all then we have Zed Millenniumon himself, the big daddy dragon. Zed Millenniumon has overclock for its composite traits. So at the end of your turn, by deleting one of your tokens or other Digimon with the same trait, this Digimon may attack a player without suspending. So Zed gets really nasty pretty quickly. But on play when Digivolving, when attacking, by returning one Digimon from your opponent's trash to the top of the deck, return one of their Digimon to the bottom of the deck. So basically all three of these are really much a pain in the rear to deal with, especially if they don't have the right protection. Being able to remove a threat and bottom it is really annoying for a player. So being able to basically make your opponent just have to breathe down a Zed Millenniumon and go like, well, we're going to put that to the bottom. Your new, your big boss mons going to the bottom. We're going to put this at the top. Now, what are you going to do? Tell me, tell me, we're, we're putting your bad card at the top. You're not going to get some any value out of this. So on play, when did you all? That's so awesome. And then all turns that this Digimon has no Digivolution cards cannot be suspended and cannot be suspended and isn't affected by your opponent's effects. You have to use the option to kind of get this effect to pop off. But with Zed Millennium on doing Zed shenanigans, this is not a bad card. I think Zed definitely earned this slot. Now let's get into Lusamon X. You guys were wondering, where's Lusamon, right? Well, we had to talk about Lusamon X itself. So being able to level five or higher Lusamon in its name cost at three is really nice. He's got the Dio energy and he's just stopping Gal what Jessmon X antibody sword without even batting all right or it's GX. He's just holding it there like going like try me. But all turns when this Digimon would lead the barrier. If you have a card with Lucimon in its name and his Digivolution cards by trashing both players top security card, it does not leave. So as long as both of you have life, it basically gets to stay on board and laugh at your opponent the whole time. So as long as, you know, it's a one and done, if you can get it on the second swing, good for you. But at the end of your turn, your opponent may trash their top security stack. If this fact didn't trash, recover one, delete one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. So basically your opponent has to decide either I need to keep my Digimon or Tamer or you're recovering one. And it gets annoying pretty quickly as this card will just constantly just be able to stick around for immense amount of turns 
and the longer it stays the threatening it gets because it's more value long term free damage is free damage you know anything in this game that leads to that is always scary now let's get into probably one of the bigger contenders of the top eight and top 10. And this is definitely one of them. That's Shadow Seraphimon Ace. Blast, Evolve, Blocker, On Play, when did you all indeed did you all three of one of your opponent's Digimon in all turns when an attack target is changed. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5,000 DP for the turn. You needed something for yellow or black? Well, welcome to the best level six that probably will exist for the longest time. Being able to DD Evolve three of one of your opponent's Digimon is ridiculous already, but the fact the fact that it has when a tar attack target is changed in any capacity, one of your opponents is you want to get minus 5,000 DP. They're not gaining any value out of this thing. If it blocks, it is instantly making it so it's smaller against it. Most players can't handle that kind of threat pressure. Saddle Strafemon is scary and it'll stay scary. Then we have the king, the champ, the mainest card in the format is basically they went like, you know, SOC is just not cutting it, guys. How do we make it better? So they went like, we're going to give it collision. We're going to give it piercing. Wow. Collision and piercing. Why? <laughs> I love the card. Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic card. When did you evolve and did you evolve one of your opponent's Digimon for each of your Digimon? Then one of your opponent's Digimon cannot digivolve until the end of turn. Already making preventive Digivolutions attacks are nasty and then all turns if lord nightmon or x anybody is digivolutions all your digimon with nightmon in its text gain alliance and plus 3000 dp this is ridiculous too being able to make this thing base 15 at all turns is ridiculous because all you need is one x antibody what <laughs> so at the end of the day this card becomes a very powerhouse truck kind of card this thing is basically a meta defining card because one collision two it has alliance three it has piercing and four it's a 15,000 dp and then fifth is that it gets to dd evolve something and laugh at your opponent this thing does everything that you want it for and it gets the cake and the the pie it's like cool full course meal right here Plus cake pie like <laughs> this thing is just that bonkers strong. If I see that, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing came to one eventually knowing Bandai itself. They let this thing come into existence, not realizing that it's this powerful. So, guys, that is my top 10. What do you guys think? Is this a valid list or is it you would have picked some other stuff? Let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and join me live tonight. Okay, bye!